bacterial pneumonia causes and treatment bacterial pneumonia is an inflammation of the lungs due to bacterial infection different types of bacteria can cause pneumonia this type of pneumonia can occur in both lungs one lung or one section of a lung pneumococcal disease which streptococcus pneumoniae causes is a major cause of bacterial pneumonia in the united states it occurs in around 9 lakh people each year and approximately 4 lakh of this require admission to a hospital pneumococcal pneumonia is fatal in regularly in roughly 5 to 7% of people who stay in hospital for treatment other types of bacteria can cause pneumonia and significant harm alongside other types of pathogen including viruses parasites and fungi in this video we look at the symptoms causes and treatments of bacterial pneumonia as well as how to prevent the disease symptoms the severity of bacterial pneumonia symptoms can vary some people only experience mild symptoms while others developing while others some people only experience mild symptoms while others develop life threatening complications according to the american lung association typical symptoms of bacterial pneumonia include chest pain shortness of breath a cough that may produce yellow or green mucus fever tiredness chills symptoms of bacterial pneumonia tend to be similar in both children and adults according to the american academy of pediatrics toddlers and infants may cry more than usual have reduced energy and appear pale a person who suspects symptoms of pneumonia should seek medical attention the cause of a particular presentation presentation of pneumonia can be difficult to determine without seeing a physician since the treatments for bacterial and viral pneumonia are different finding the correct cause is vital for choosing the appropriate treatment regimen complications bacterial pneumonia might be complicated in both children and adults anyone can develop complications from bacterial pneumonia but people with weaker immune systems younger children and older adults have a higher risk complications may include the following respiratory failure this might develop if oxygen levels in the lungs drop too low or if carbon dioxide levels spike it can occur due to inadequate breathing ability and respiratory failure may even cause lung function to stop completely sepsis this occurs when an infection causes an overwhelming inflammatory response throughout the body sepsis can lead to failure in multiple organs and may be life threatening lung abscess this occurs when an infected pocket of pus forms in the lung emphysema this is an infectious collection of pus in the pleural cavity that surrounds the outside of lungs swift treatment is vital for reducing the risk of complications causes small air sacs called alveoli are within the lobes of each lung normally this air sacs aid in the body's gas exchange while inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide when a person develops a pneumonia the air sacs experience inflammation which can cause them to fill with fluid if the air sacs fill with fluid rather than air breathing might become difficult in some cases the lungs and the rest of the body may not get enough oxygen risk factors although anyone can develop bacterial pneumonia certain factors increase the risk according to the cleveland clinic 
people who have a weakened immune system as a result of cancer cancer treatment or an organ transplant face an increase to risk of bacterial pneumonia smoking tobacco products and having a long term lung condition such as emph emphysema or chronic bronchitis copd increases the risk being over 65 years of age and having had recent surgery also puts people at a higher risk treatment treatment for bacterial pneumonia includes antibiotics which target the specific type of bacterium causing the infection a doctor might also prescribe medi medications to ease breathing additional medications may include over the counter drugs to ease aches and pains as well as reducing fever home care will often include rest and drinking plenty of fluids unless a doctor instructs otherwise be sure to finish a course of antibiotic therapy according to the doctor's prescription even if symptoms have improved some people may require hospitalization for a severe case of bacterial pneumonia especially for a person who needs supplemental oxygen is experiencing dehydration or requires breathing assistance with a mechanical ventilator people who develop complications like sepsis may also require additional treatments that involve admission into a hospital as a precaution those who have an increased risk of complications may also benefit from admission to enable closer monitoring this groups include people over 65 years or under 2 months of age prevention one of the best ways to prevent bacterial pneumonia is by preserving the strength of the immune system eating healthy foods getting enough rest and frequent hand washing are good starting points since bacterial pneumonia can develop as a complication of the flu getting an annual flu shot may prevent pneumonia two different pneumococcal vaccines are available are also available for reducing a person's risk of developing bacterial pneumonia due to streptococcus pneumoniae bacterium the most common cause of bacterial pneumonia this vaccines which protect against 13 and 23 strains of the pneumococcal bacterium doctors recommend that adults over 65 years of age have both types of vaccine children should receive a series of vaccination starting at 2 months of age overall health status and age may affect the recommendation for pneumococcal vaccination ultimately a doctor will be able to determine which vaccine you may need and when to have them